My name is Dr. Christiane Wolf, and this is a 10-minute guided loving-kindness practice. So starting by finding a comfortable posture, and especially for the loving-kindness practice, it's important to find a posture that really feels nice and easy as much as possible right now. And then starting by bringing awareness to the area of your heart in this moment. And just getting a sense of if your heart feels open or closed right now. And this is not in order to change it, but in order to know. And please remember that in loving kindness practice, the intention is the most important thing not what you actually feel as you do it, but the intention to develop a more open and friendly heart towards yourself and towards everybody you come in contact with. So now starting to bringing to mind a person you love or you feel a connection with. Can be a family member, can be a friend, can be a teacher, can be a spiritual being. It can even be your pet. And if you like picturing this person or being here with you in this moment, maybe sitting across from you, looking at you, and just noticing what happens in your heart as you're imagining being in the presence of a loved one. And then I'll be saying some traditional phrases, and you can silently repeat those phrases. Or you can use your own. It's just important that all the phrases start with may you in this case, as we're sending it to another person, and later, may I, as we are sending it to ourselves. And really, being aware that this is a body practice, so we are paying attention to the way it feels in the body as we're doing this, as we're sending these phrases, well, later, as we are receiving those wishes for ourselves. So now coming back to picturing your loved one here with you, and then starting with the loving-kindness phrases. May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May you be truly happy and deeply peaceful. May you live your life with ease. May you accept yourself completely, just the way you are. May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm.
May you be truly happy and deeply peaceful. May you live your life with ease. May you accept yourself completely, just the way you are. And now, moving the attention to yourself. And you have a couple of options here. So, if you know that sending friendly wishes to yourself is really hard, you can imagine now that your friend or beloved person is sending you this very same wishes. So, you are practicing to receive those wishes from somebody else. And I know you can be sure that this person is wishing the exact same thing for you. Or, of course, you can just wish those wishes for yourself as you are, the person you are today. Or you can go back in your own history and see if you can come across a time where it feels easier now to send yourself those wishes. Maybe as a child. Or maybe as an infant. And if you want to send those wishes to yourself as a baby, you can imagine holding yourself as a baby, like the ideal parent would. And so, doing whatever works for you, and of course using the appropriate grammatical form here. And I'll be using the I form. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. And again, really listen with your body. May I be truly happy and deeply peaceful. May I live my life with ease. May I accept myself completely, just the way I am, right now. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May I be truly happy and deeply peaceful. May I live my life with ease. May I accept myself completely, just the way I am in this moment. 